I'm up here. Hey guys, welcome to my dark room. Why don't you guys come along while I go through the steps to produce a carbon transfer print. From the making of Glop right through to the finished print. About 11 years ago I made an overview video of the process and since then many things have changed in my workflow so I thought it was time to update that old video. This updated series will be broken down into five parts that will hopefully show you my approach to making a carbon transfer print. Part one will be all about making the glop. Part two is making the tissue. Part three is sensitizing the tissue and exposure. Part four will be paper sizing. And part five will be mating development. So enough yapping. Let's get on with it. Okay, so main ingredient, gelatin. Okay. This gelatin I got at um, a bulk food store. Um, you can also use uh, just Knox gelatin from your local grocery store. But you're also going to need some sugar that acts as a plasticizer so that your um, tissues, when they're dry, they don't become too brittle and break. Um, you'll also need some isopropyl alcohol and that's great for getting out all the little micro bubbles in the glop before you go to pour and you'll need some pigment uh, I've settled on Daniel Smith pigments you'll also need a scale to measure distilled water you don't have to use distilled water if your tap water is fine. Okay, so these are the ingredients that you need. Also, you know, a container for putting the gelatin in. And I have a glass jar for mixing my glop. Okay, let's get mixing. All right, so I'm going to start with uh, the gelatin. Okay, I, I tend to make smaller batches of glop. Um, because I only make a few tissues, you know, like most of my tissues, tissues are about 8 by 10 in size, 8 by 10 inches in size. And I pour about 100 mils of glop per tissue. So I mix up, I start off with 400 mils of water and that's usually enough to give me uh, four tissue. Okay, so with 400 mils, I'm going to measure 40 grams. Okay, so that's a 10% solution I'm making of gelatin. This is cold distilled water. And just mix it in there. Okay, that's all mixed in. All right, got the gelatin in solution. Now, um, I can't really do anything now. I have to let it, let all the gelatin soak in, suck up the water until it sets. Okay? And it's better if you do that. Put it in the fridge and let it do that. So I'll let it sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And I'll take it out and warm it up and uh, start adding all the other ingredients. Okay, gotta put this in the fridge for 30 minutes. Just don't tell my wife I, it's here. All right, here is the gelatin. That's all set. Took it out of the fridge, and now I need to make it a liquid once again. And to do that, I'm going to soak it in hot water until it's nice and liquidified. Sometimes I'm lazy and I'll microwave it. But you've got to, if you do microwave, you've got to be, you have to keep an eye on it because you don't want it to start bubbling. Right? That's not very good for the gelatin. 
I've actually caught it just before it was bubbling and it was okay. Um, it's not a good idea. So I really do recommend that you start off by soaking it in hot water. So I've got this chest, this small little beer chest. And I'm going to put it inside. And then close the lid. And let it sit. A few moments later. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh. It's nice and liquidy. Okay, let's put in the next ingredients. I need 39 grams of sugar. And just put that right in. Four grams of lamp black, Daniel Smith lamp black. That's exactly one gram. That's all, just over two. God, I'm getting good at this. Three. And four. Good grief. That's the first time I've nailed it perfectly. And mix it up. Okay, and go ahead and pour it in. No, I'll mix it. Okay, that's mixed up really nicely. Now the last ingredient I put in is isopropyl alcohol. And the reason why we put this isopropyl alcohol in is to uh, help get rid of micro bubbles. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I have to filter the glob okay, and pour, filter it into another jar that's clean and I like to use for filtering a pair of underwear. These are Uniqlo Special. It's a nylon and works really well. And don't worry, I've, I've never I've never worn them. Okay, maybe once I did. I'll just go ahead and pour. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Put my filtered glob into this cooler with that contains hot water, and I'll leave it in there with the lid shut overnight, and that'll give it time to gas out. Okay, but before I put this in here, I'm going to spritz it, and I just have some 70% isopropyl alcohol. No, it's not for breeze; it's an empty bottle, and I'll just spritz it just to get rid of the big bubbles on the top. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. See you, Gloppy. I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in my next video where I'll show you how to make the tissue.
with the glow. Cheers. See you then. Yeah.